Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game between Slayer S's Boxer versus Inca here on... Wow, was that faster? Okay, that's normal. That does seem faster for a second. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. And anyway, Slayer S Boxer spawning as the red Terran player at the 12 o'clock position. Meanwhile, EG Inca spawning as the blue... Sorry, red Terran blue Protoss here on Shadow Temple. Um, yeah, this is my third game in the... Uh, casting the game with Novocaine in my face, and I may be just slurring my speech a little bit more than I want to. Anyways, we'll see how these players do. Slayer S Boxer, a player that pretty much needs no introduction, uh, one of the most feared Terran players of all time against EG Inca. Um, I believe he started playing StarCraft back in 2001, joined Evil Geniuses in, I believe, 2008? And has been playing Protoss ever since, I believe, 2008. Um, not as well known as Idra or, or In Control, but decided to cast the game anyway. And take a look at how Inca's strategy and playstyle is here on Shadow Temple. Sl uh, what? Slow down. Slayer S Boxer building up a barracks over here. We'll be able to get up another supply depot over here and finish off the wall in in just a moment. We may have a supply depot placement down and w without a refinery. And if he does, is he going to do that? No, he is not going to do that. So um, it's often a common strategy of Terran players if they want to try to go for a double gas or go for no gas to build a supply depot here, leave it unbuilt. And then that allows the SCVs to continue to mine, be able to build up more Marines and also go for a fast expansion. That does not seem to be the case this time around. Boxer will be able to finish up or start training up that Marine, but I believe the probe will be able to slip by um, just in time and, and no supply depot will be placed down. There you go. The probe now just able to wander in, get as much information as possible as we now have an upgrade to an orbital command. This is going to be close air spawns, so close air spawns does mean a lot more air harassment here on Shattered Temple just because of the walking distance. A marine will be trained up in just a moment here. We are, I don't see an additional supply depot, so not quite sure what Boxer is going for at this instant. As he doesn't have an extra supply depot, he is going to be able to start training up more SCVs and perhaps build the supply depot a little bit later. He will end up being supply locked. Um, at this point in the game, so uh, perhaps if he's trying to delay his SCV production for a command center, that would work out well. Meanwhile, back over here, another pylon now coming in. You can see Inca now getting this one assimilator here. We'll be able to start um, Chrono boosting a Stalker and perhaps getting that Warp Gate research as well. The barracks was lifted off and swapped locations. And now maybe training a Reaper. We are now finally no longer supply locked here. A command center may be placed down as well. And then a bunker should be placed down here. As this SCV is now wandering around on the inside of the space. Trying to get as much scouting information as possible. There is one uh, probe sitting off over here. As the stalker now looks for that SCV. Doesn't know it's inside his own base. Boxer sitting at 23 over 27. Inca sitting at 29 over 34. As we are now going into a Marauder. So a Marauder with Marines Command Center being built here. We should see two additional Raxes placed down after the um, Command Center. Pretty standard play. A, a Terran versus Protoss. As the Stalker of Inca knowing to look for that SCV. As he did control the center zone. Naga Watchtower kept control. Uh, kept um, uh, tabs on the minimap. And knew that the SCV didn't return home. Was able to take it down. A robotics facility now coming into play. There's that one barracks that I was mentioning earlier. A second barracks may be coming in as well. As we have a triple supply depot on the front door. Marines and Marauders are going to make their way to that low ground here. Command center. There's that third racks that I was mentioning earlier. Command center will lift off. Upgrade to an orbit command. Lift off and land here in just a moment. As we now see uh, just a very small uh, group of units making their way out. Poor probe getting destroyed in the center. As we now see a, a Vi for map control. Boxer didn't want to control the tower. He just wanted to make sure that Inca did not control it himself. Observer now making its way out. So two gate with or what two gateways with an observer now being um, being chrono boosted out of there. We may get an immortal. Yeah, an immortal. A very very nice um, unit to follow it up after an observer. It allows that immortal. Uh, to soak up a lot of damage from the Marauders and also bust down a bunker relatively easily. A reactor is now being added. And wow, we are going into um, a lot more barracks than I was expecting. So we are now going into 4 racks play without a factory. 
and I'm curious if to box if whether or not Boxer can really keep up with this many production um, buildings. Um, he is only running off of one gas right now, so he is going for more Marines perhaps. As the Marauders are also being trained. Stimpak now being researched and another tech lab being added on. So he definitely needs to get another refinery soon. But it looked like he was just saving up so much gas for a while. That he was able to just continue to build and build. Um, we'll see what's happening. Long distance mining um, off of this that mule. That mule is in a bad position. There is one SCV over here. The SCV does spot this Nexus now coming into play. As a group of stalkers, immortals, and zealots are now making a push out. The Observer is on um, in position, so it will be able to start damaging the Supply Depot here. And that is going to be a lot of damage to be had. One Supply Depot already down to 94. One Supply Depot now destroyed. A second Supply Depot may get destroyed as well, as that Force Field could be placed out. And then just Supply Locking Boxer. This is going to be very, very difficult pressure, as there is one Observer in the air. The Observers do spot this here. And now, all he really has to do is just place down that Force Field just right to um, split off that army and now just continue to dance around this one Supply Depot. Three Supply Depots are trying to be built at this time. And the Supply Depot already going to start to burn as the Zealots um, walking in very, very carefully. That Supply Depot down to, what, 299 hit points. And down goes another Marine Boxer. Not uh, not going to be able to fend off this attack very well at all. There is one Observer in the air. Now going to get a Scanner sweeped out of the sky. Down it goes. And Inca going to have a little bit more difficulty trying to put any additional pressure onto that last Supply Depot. I spoke too soon as Inca getting a new observer into position. And now is it going to be enough? And there's the force fields going to get some damage onto some of those marauders there. The marines are now battling it back. But this is not a, in a position where I thought Inca would actually want to try to battle it out. It going to lose also that um, that guard that guardian shielded or guardian shielding um, sentry as well. So that was a bit of a of a miss attack there. I thought Inca did a good job of just putting pressure on Boxer, containing him inside his base, um, and making it very difficult. Boxer knew that he couldn't move out with his units just because um, one force field would have just trapped and split up his army and dealt even more damage. We are now going into medevac play, or we should be going into medevac play, as we are now getting another Rax as well. Five Raxes. I'm now training up one medevac. This the factory should be adding on a, a reactor at some point as a reactor starport definitely is very helpful. Inca now transitioning into a dark shrine. So dark shrine, a dark templar in the near future getting two additional gateways as well. So this will be what a six gate play with a weapons upgrade on the forge perhaps and um, dark templars adding to the group. Inca at some point should be taking down these rocks. He does have enough to set up an, an expansion or will have enough to set up an expansion sometime soon. His um, worker count sitting at 45. So he did. He has not been chrono boosting his workers, nor is he training that many workers right now. Boxer may be able to push back into this in just a moment. Um, he does have a decent number of harvesters, 40 harvesters. And he also has a much stronger mineral economy just because he is not mining any gas right now. And his production, four marauders, two marines. And um, taking a look at that factory, the factory is out trying to scout out. Dark Templars are in position across the map. And it looks like that Dark Templar wants some SCV blood. Uh, Warp Blades deal 45 damage per attack. As we are now getting some Photon Cannons as well. Another Dark Templar um, making its way in. This poor SCV. Uh, down it goes. And now the Marines have to be very, very careful. That Dark Templar may get some even more damage here. As the factory is in position. The uh, One Dark Templar should be able to meet and greet this army in very, very easy fashion. Trying to get some damage as quickly as possible. In comes the Guardian Shield. Force field splitting upside the are splitting the army there. Immortals are blasting apart the many of those marauders here, and the sentries are now trying to fight back. The stalkers are now finally being able to pull back here, as the marauders and the marines are going to continue to push another round of force fields, splitting the army once more. And the dark templar is getting in a lot of damage. Stalkers even up on that high ground, and both sides exchanging blows. And a scanner sweep up on the high ground, revealing those units there as more and more units are coming in position. Another photon cannon going to get taken down. But I do not think Boxer will really deal that much damage with this pressure. And now is forced to retreat once more. The medevac also shot down as well. Marauders up on the high ground. There is an engineering bay in position. And I believe the, this counterattack by Inca will be able to deal a lot of damage. And now uh, that poor um, Dark Templar quickly going to get taken down. Down it goes. As Boxer finishes off the Supply Depot here. 
a very large army from Inca coming in. 1725, 1250 in resources, more Dark Templars, ground armor, and zealot and legs now being researched as well. As proxy py or pylons still warping in Inca, um, sitting at 55 probes now, setting up another expansion here a little bit further away than normal. But he shouldn't have any real problem trying to transfer probes down across to that portion of the map. You can see more probes are making its way down to the low ground as well as the main mineral patches are starting to run low. Inca, um, his army advantage is nowhere near as strong as it was just a couple minutes ago. He's sitting on a 12 food advantage, and that is it. And may, perhaps, um, what, a 1700, um, what, 1700 or 1500 resource advantage on his army. One poor SCV uh, building a missile turret a little bit too close to some stalkers there. And down it goes as a drop now coming in. Dark Templars warping in onto the backside there, getting in a lot of damage, perhaps supply locking Boxer. Yes able to supply lock Boxer, and now Boxer's production will be halted once again. He needs to get more supply depots, building two, and we are also getting the Mobius reactor to try to get more and more energy on some Ghost. Ghost will be coming out in just a moment. The Mobius reactor is already halfway completed, meaning that Ghost can be trained rather quickly. I imagine Inca to take down these rocks sometime soon. There are some pylons up here as well, in addition to here, to be able to warp in units onto the low ground. As Inca should be transferring some probes over. Yes, eight probes now being transferred over with an additional group of probes continuing to be transferred over as well. So 16 probes will quickly mine away down here. You can see missile turrets being placed down by Boxer. More of a precautionary measure as, Bo as Boxer really trying to make sure that he doesn't get um, DT dropped any further. Those missile turrets, however, um, a waste of minerals unless a drop is coming and Boxer just trying to hold onto this game, make sure he doesn't continue to fall behind any further. Army, 2,900 minerals, 825, 3275 compared to 1,500 as more units are still coming in as well. As we may be getting in another drop, Inca, I'm going to be able to get in another drop. You can see the command center is currently, um, currently upgrading to... Um, Orbital Command there. There is one missile turret. This missile turret's not going to be long for life. Down it goes so, so quickly. And quickly just getting picked back up. Another missile turret going to be laid down. Marauders now making their way over as well. As there is one photon cannon. And now just barely enough of a force here to try to um, continue to mine off of uh, mine off of this 6, six o'clock low ground expansion. Level 2 weapons upgrade. Now being researched, more photon cannons being added as both sides try to macro back up for a, what will be a very large battle. The ghost is in play. It does have enough for one EMP shockwave, not two. I don't see that many ghosts, only two in this whole entire army here, this whole army here. So one ghost or two ghosts for two EMP shockwaves. It looks like a drop is going to be coming in. Dark Templars quickly clearing up and now going to be able to warp in some additional units as well. So there is a couple Marauders over here, but once this plant, this missile turret is taken down, um, I'm not going to be able to do very much at all, wasting a scanner sweep as the army now backs off once more. So this one, one lone warp prism over here just causing constant problems for Boxer. Boxer really not sure what he can do there. Um, some Vikings would definitely help to try to clean up those units as now additional engineering bays being added. Level 1 armor upgrades. Armory being added as well to allow for level 2 weapons and infantry up uh, infantry upgrades on armor and weapons. Um, one SCV also quickly taken down here as the Colossus and being added to the army, the Colossi are getting level 1 weapons upgrade, level 1 armor upgrades, and there's a lot of them to deal with. So Inca will be able to get a lot of damage with those Colossi. There's not enough Vikings to really deal with them, especially the Stalkers should be able to shoot them down. And as soon as Blink is researched, the Stalkers are going to be able to shoot them out of the sky rather easily. As once again, more Dark Templar drops into the base, just causing problem after problem. Vikings now coming in as well to try to finish this off. This one missile turret will get taken down rather quickly. And now the Dark Templars pretty much um, going to have to stick around for this fight as long as they possibly can. Another Supply Depot will get burned down. But in comes the main battle over here. Zealots and Stalkers, both sides engaging. Colossi able to push in very easily. Where are those EMP shockwaves? There's one, there's two, but they both hit the same area. And now the medevacs are uh, overexposed there. The Vikings are now trying to push in as well, trying to finish off the rest of the Colossi as the Stalkers are engaging with those sentries. 
but I believe the Stalkers will be able to finish off those Vikings rather easily. And now walking straight into the base, all he needs to do is turn around, drop a force field. No energy for a force field though. So there you go, Boxer leaves the game. So EG Inca taking this game here on Shatter Temple. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 game between Slayer S's Boxer and EG Inca here on Shattered Temple.